In this lesson, I want to continue to build out our web page, adding in some additional sections so that we can click and we can maneuver the website down to those sections. One adjustment I did want to make, which I'm actually going to bring back the lorem image because I do like the images a whole lot better, but because uh, they're at the moment they're unpredictable, we're not sure which one we're getting, uh, let's just use placehold it until we've got all of our content up and running and then uh, we can make that adjustment and actually bring in uh, the image that we want to utilize. So I'm going to copy this link address, open up my editor and I'm going to comment this for a second here because I do want to bring this back at a later point but for now what I want to do is use placehold it as my image placeholder so I want to have a nice big image here because we are going to use cover. So I'm going to make an adjustment as well to the image that we're putting out here. So background image now is the placehold it and let's just refresh that. And we see that now it's a lot more uniform as well. Uh, so let's open up our editor and make some adjustments on the background image. So with HTML5 we have the ability to use background size and we got a size called cover and what cover does is this actually helps readjust the size of our background image uh, so we see that this one right now it's way too big and when we resize we don't see the full image but when I use cover we see that now we've got that dimensions here so it's actually resizing and uh, centering the image as well so it's a much better way to present your images using cover and of course we can't see it as of yet but you see that it's keeping the dimensions even though the screen is getting wider uh, we do see some of the background of that image right now so let's uh, let's go ahead and create another section uh, so we've already created our main section there and let's uh, do a bunch of these sections here. So we had about products and contact. So let's create some HTML sections for that. So we want to do it underneath header. So header is our top section and this is where our header content is going to go and the rest of these are going to be called sections. Uh, so let's give it an ID and we want to have the ID in line with what we had called over here. Uh, so this is going to be just HTML. When we click the href, it's going to bring us down to that section and bring that section within focus. I also want to add in containers. So containers are used within Bootstrap. So the container class is used within Bootstrap to contain the grid. Uh, so we've got container. And it also adds in uh, some gutter area on the side, so some padding and so on, uh, so that uh, this creates uh, more styling, more bootstrap styling within the element. Uh, so within now, let's uh, set it up so we can have some rows. So class rows, because uh, this will give us the flexibility to add in a bunch of columns in the section or whatever we want to do within that section. Uh, so now we've got our rows, or if we had multiple rows, uh, this is ideal as well. And adding in a div so we're doing a div and column so this is the bootstrap grid we need to specify what our breaking points are so we're going to do MD3 and what we're also going to do we're going to center our text so text center so again with bootstrap 4 we've got the option here for centering text we can just apply text center and now I'm going to make three sections, so we'll just call it one, and we're going to have a little bit of text. I'm going to just copy the text that I have over here, and this is going to be in preparation so that we can use this kind of like a mini template here uh, to add in the other three, the other four, the other three column threes, because we need to make sure that uh, Bootstrap styled uh, geared towards a 12 column format. I'm just beautifying that uh, so it's a component within uh, brackets uh, where you can add in extension, extension manager. Uh, so this is uh, one just called beautify uh, and it's a really handy one because it allows you to realign all that code so it's more readable. So that's all that I just did right there. Uh, so that's got not, nothing to do with bootstrap it's just uh, so it's more readable and it's a uh, feature within brackets when you add in the component. 
So let's go take a look and see what we look like now. So now we've got our four columns there, we've got our header section, and now we're ready to add in uh, maybe some, some other sections. So we had another one that we called products. So something like this might be ideal where we wanna highlight some of the products that we have available within our website. So let's just update this and we'll call it products. And relatively, the format is going to be very similar. Uh, we're also maybe, uh, instead of having it within this type of format, uh, we can create images. So IMG, and we'll do a source for the image. And class is going to be an image fluid. So this has changed as well within Bootstrap 4, uh, that previously we had uh, uh, a different class to make it responsive. Now to make images responsive we use IMG Fluid. Uh, let's just grab that same source here and uh, place the source in here so that when I copy it out and these ones don't need to be as big so I can make these uh, smaller here and remember again that they're going to be fluid images. And I'm also thinking that I want to do one more transformation here within this element. So I want to turn these into cards. So Bootstrap 4 now has a brand new class called card. Uh, so I'm going to utilize this. And I know I was trying to keep it as much with Bootstrap 3 and Bootstrap 4 compatibility. But cards are a really neat feature with Bootstrap 4 because they allow us to really break apart these different elements and uh, format them a whole lot nicer and output them a lot nicer. So this is, I'm going to just transform this one into a card and I'm going to use it then again as a template, copy and paste it and then duplicate all of these rows. So essentially I'm going to have eight images all styled as cards. Uh, so with the card we've got various uh, additional classes that we need to include or we should include. Uh, so the first one is going to be called the card block so this is where all of that card content is going to go. So the main wrapper for the card is going to be the card block where we've got our card content. And let's specify that we're going to add in a title. So here we can do the H3 product one. Uh, and then this is all being held within the card uh, card title so we can also specify that this is now a card title so these are all bootstrap bootstrap four classes so card title and if we've got a card title uh, we can add in some additional text if we wanted to and so on and then of course we have the option to do uh, our image so let's just keep that as card block we'll do our, our image here with in between the two blocks and then lastly, I'm going to transform this one into another one called card block. And we'll keep that paragraph text there uh, as card text. So class equals card text. So let's uh, take a quick look and just make sure that it looks the way we want it to look. So these are the cards. So ultimately what I want to do is I want to have a number of products with images and then some text underneath and so on about the product. And maybe what I want to do as well, I want to adjust it to need it to be uh, instead of MD3, we'll change it to MD4. And just going to make a few more of them. So one, two, save that, jump back out here to see what it's going to look like. Uh, so we've got all three of our products and maybe we want to have another set of products. So we can go to about, we can go to products and so on. And automatically with HTML, we're allowed to, we're able to scroll down to where that section is. Uh, so let's, uh, and of course, we're still going to be styling this as well. So now within the card class row, so I want to make sure that I'm getting that entire row and with brackets so I can really easily close that down and minimize it so that I make sure that I got that entire row. So now I should have two rows of images with uh, three images across each row. So that's what we've got there. Uh, so again, this is all nice and fully responsive. 
really nice thing about Bootstrap, just makes it so easy for these different size screens of outputs. Uh, and of course, then you could even more customize how you want it to look as you create your web page. So in the next section, we're going to add in our contact section and maybe we've got another section that we want to add in that's just uh, maybe some sales information and so on. So we're going to add that in as well within the next lesson.